Welcome back guys to a brand new Rail Diary from Spotters UK. We're at Crediton on the Tarka line where we'll be heading to Oakhampton today. There is a 1000 service which I'm not sure if it's an ECS or a normal passenger. If it is, we'll be heading to Oakhampton. If it's not, we'll try and head up to Exeter to get the next one. So, started my journey at Eggersford this morning where we got the 900 service bound for uh, Exeter Central. So here comes the 1001 service bound for Exeter St. David's. So, I see if this service to Oakhampton is a passenger and if it is or not will depend on the rest of the video. So let's get started. Alright guys, welcome back. We are now at Exeter St. David's. In the distance you can see the 1117 terminating service from Oakhampton. This is the service I got from Oakhampton. This was also the 1000 service from Crediton to Oakhampton. I wasn't there for very long. It was only a five minute turnaround and I wanted to show you guys the rest of what Devon has to offer. So we are now at Exeter St. David's. There's the 1143 London Paddington bound service. So yeah, I'm going to do a bit of filming here at Ex St. David's and then I'm going to move somewhere else. I haven't really planned that one out yet. So yeah, hope you enjoy the clips from St. Next train to depart is 800.013 on the 11.43 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. This service is the stopping service calling at Taunton, Castle Carey, Q 
Pusey, Newbury, Reading and also London Paddington. Oh, I do apologise, it is also calling out Westbury. And as that departs, we've got the slightly early 11.49 cross-country service bound for Plymouth. Service is formed of 220.007 on the front. on the rear. The service is calling out Newton Abbott, Totnes and Plymouth. And to my right we have a terminating South Western Railway class 159 terminating in from London Waterloo. Formed of 159014 next train to depart will be the 1150 Great Western Railway service to Oakhampton. Great time. One fifty two three two on the rear of this service. Unfortunately, a passenger has just missed his train. I'd say I've ridden the journey and it was actually very good. There was a massive uh, press conference sort of thing going on at Oakhampton, but there wasn't a very long turnaround on my train, so didn't stay there for that. But yeah, it was really busy. So yeah, it was really good. 43122 and 43170 are now ready to head up to Exeter New Yard. Great two time. with a Chepstow Castle nameplate. Arriving in now is the 1217 Great Western Railway service to uh, Exmouth. With 150.238 on the front. So guys, quick update. We're going to be heading down one stop to Newton Abbott. Uh, we'll be staying there for about half an hour to 45 minutes where we'll get a cross country HST back up to Tiverton Parkway. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the clips at next to St. David's and you'll see the RET come in to take us down to Newton Abbott.
57. In zones 5 and 10, wheelchair facilities in zone 3. Platform 3 for the 1253 Great Western Railway service to London Paddington. For your safety, please be aware that this station has no tactile feeling from platform edge. Once the train arrives, please climb the step from the platform onto the train. This is an 800 3, 800 319. This next train in will be the 1307 cross country service to Edinburgh Waverley, where I will be getting off at Tiverton Park, where it's formed of a cross country HST. This is the 1307 service, so yeah, Tivin, um, Newton Abbott's been alright. Nothing too hectic, not a lot of trains, but it was nice to just get down here, go along Dawlish Street Wall, which I'll be going along again in a few moments' time. So, let's get this HST and let's head up to Tiverton Parkway. Derby, Chesterfield, Sheffield, Wakefield, Westgate, Leeds, York, Darlington, Durham, Newcastle, Alma, Berwick-upon-Tweed and Edinburgh. This train has seven coaches. First class is Edinburgh calling next to Tiverton Park. 
Parkway, followed by Taunton, Bristol Temple Meets, Bristol Parkway, oh, yeah, Chelsea well, Spa, yeah. Birmingham New Street, yeah, Salmon. Eight hundred double oh seven and eight hundred oh two oh passing bound for Plymouth. The fare scheme from this station. Please ensure you purchase a ticket before you board. More information can be found at gwr.com forward slash. Sorry about the focus. That is the 1405 pass. The vlog left Tiverton Parkway because there wasn't a lot going on. So we took this cross country service, which was the 1430 back to Exeter, where we're going to get the 1519. Bretton Railway service to Eggersford and then I've got to make a long drive back to Dorset. So I'm going to film some more trains here at St David's and then we'll go from there. So yeah, catch you in the next clip.
Right guys, this is the end of the travel diary. We are back at Eggersford where we started our day with the nine o'clock train this morning to Crediton, where we then got the 10 o'clock train to Oakhampton where we rode the Dartmoor line, which reopened today. Uh, after Oakhampton, we went back to Exeter St. David's where we filmed some trains there. And then we headed to Newton Abbott where we saw an I a couple of IETs, uh, class 166, 150s and a cross country HST, which was the 1306 service bound for Edinburgh Waverley, which we took up to Tiverton Parkway. Tiverton Parkway was a bit of a disappointment as there wasn't a lot going on completely. And we only saw two trains as two got cancelled. One was a castle class HST bound for Cardiff Central from Penzance and the other was an IET running from London Paddington to Plymouth which was one Charlie 80. We then head back down to Exeter St David's where I took the 1519 Great Western Railway service back to Eggersford in which we finished our journey and then we saw the 1600 and 1601 Great Western Railway services to Exeter Central and also Barnstable. So if you have enjoyed the video, please make sure to hit the like button and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. I'm enjoying making videos like this as it gets you guys to see my day really and how the day begins and everything that comes with it. So yeah, hopefully you have enjoyed and there should be some videos up from the Dartmoor line. I filmed the entire journey from Oakhampton to Exeter. So hopefully you guys enjoy that. So yeah, this is where I'm going to be ending the video. Thank you very much for watching. And the link to all my social media platforms will be in the description down below. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Goodbye.